So this is a review of the Lido Kala LII PD4, which is a battery charger for rechargeable batteries such as the 18650, uh, as well as AA nickel metal hydrides and AAAs. Go ahead and turn it on. So it'll go into a null setting here to show you that there's no battery in it. Uh, this battery needs a little bit of a charge. It's a AA, uh, supposedly 3000 milliamp hour triple uh, double a and let's see what it says here so it says it's been charged 77% uh, currently um, it'll actually beep a little bit or I'm sorry flash uh, for a few seconds as it's recognizing the battery and also give you a chance to change that if it's not a, um, a 1.2 or I think a one point um, maybe a 1.5 or even a 3 point 3.2 battery I think it won't let you adjust that and it'll automatically set the the charge current at, uh, at one amp, um, that you cannot change. Uh, at least I haven't been able to figure out how to change that yet. Um, but it'll go ahead and it'll tell you how much, uh, how many milliamp hours of, of uh, power it's putting into the battery itself. Um, this is a 18650. Make sure that I got the positive on top. And it should be fully charged or close to fully charged. It'll automatically detect it. You can manually change this if it's incorrect. Oh, so I had to screw that up there. Let me reset it here. Um, and to reset it, you pull it out. Sorry, hitting the wrong button here. Okay, so you push it on the proper setting here and I can change the type of battery that it is. If it doesn't recognize it properly, it generally does. I haven't had too much of a problem with that. Um, it's defaulting to a one amp charging current or 1000 milliamp charging current. Um, I have seen it drop down to 500. Uh, the maximum that this one is capable of is actually two amps or 2000 milliamps. And it, I believe it only does that on the fourth slot here. Uh, these have all charged already. Um, so they're not going to show too much information about what's happening. This is a dead one. So I got four batteries out of a USB power bank that somebody gave me. One of the batteries it turned out was dead, this one here. The other three are, are good, uh, which is cool. So I can still use those for projects. Um, this dead one, what, it, what I did is I tested it after it tried charging uh, and I did see some voltage in the battery itself. You can see here that this battery has now completed its charge. Um, but this dead one here, um, and I tested it on the multimeter and it did show a, a bit of voltage, but it very quickly dropped down to, uh, to under one volt. Uh, in other words, it doesn't hold the charge at all, which is why it's not recognizing it here. It does attempt to charge it, but it's just not able to. So I can pull that one out and pull this out as well. And it'll show you the one that is charging. And let me show you here. And so this one is also recognized properly. Now this is the max current that it could do. I don't believe that it's actually putting in a thousand milliamps into this small little battery. Um, it would probably um, blow it up or burn it out if it was. It actually uh, recognizes how much current it should be putting into it. This is just a, a maximum current that it can do, I believe. Uh, towards the end of the charging cycle, it should actually drop down uh, and put in less current as well, uh, as per what you're supposed to do with uh, nickel metal hydride batteries. Overall, um, it's a decent, decent charger. Uh, very easy to use. Just put in the batteries, let it charge. Um, not much to it, not much control over it either. Uh, unfortunately, it does not test batteries. It won't discharge them and recharge them and let you know how much uh, current it's put into it. Unfortunately, you would need to do that manually. So that's the thing that I do not like about this unit. Uh, but if you are looking for an easy to use one um, that you don't have to, uh, to do any sort of testing of the battery with, you can go ahead and do that. Uh, overall, decent, no complaints about it other than the inability to do testing.